Hello everyone, my name is Karime and today I'm going to show you two tricks that I know to avoid holes in your, in your cloth when you are tufting. The first one I'm going to show you and I'm not going to get too much into that because I know most people use the cut pile and I have the loop pile but something that I found with the loop pile when you are adjusting the, the height you have to move this little screw and then push it um, back or forward. And that's going to make this hook move. Um, so what you got to do is make sure that this doesn't go too far out. It's maybe like four millimeters. Um, so make sure and before you draw like a big design, uh, try it because it sucks when you have a big thing and the cloth breaks that it's pretty hard to make it work. The second cause that it's breaking your cloth and the most common is that the cloth is not stretched enough to work in it. I use monk's cloth but that's, that will be also for the primary backing and for burlap too. I have never used burlap but I know it works because a lot of other rug makers use it but it needs to be really stretched so I'm gonna show you how is it that I do it this is my frame and as you can see I use tack strips uh, to hold the to hold the cloth but I also use the staples here I have my cloth already uh, and I already measured the one I need I always leave a few inches for for the sides and what I do is make a little cut and the uh, oh, hopefully you can see that make a little cut and pull the thread where you want it and that's gonna help wait that that's gonna help you to mark a line and make a straight line yeah you pull the thread and let me wait and here is your line so there is where I'm gonna cut here I have my cloth already um cut what i do is fold it in the half and i'm gonna start from the top then the bottom and then the sides and i like to put the top and bottom this side of the cloth the one that has like the this edge my frame already has the i put with a sharpie the half so just to make it easier fold the half and i put it right where i have my mark Here, when you are stretching, just try to keep the lines of the cloth as straight as you can. I start writing the line of like I ignore the edge and I start writing this line and I do the same at the bottom I leave this edge and then this is where I start okay now I'm gonna start with the sides the first side I always try to put the keep the lines straight and then the second side is where I try to tense a lot when you are doing that, try not to um, try to do it 
straight or using the same, I don't know how to, same tension all the way down because you don't want your clothes to feel like wavy. And let's start. Here's where you apply all the tension and you try to do it the same as all the other sides. It gets kind of easy because you have the lines to follow from your foot. This is how it looks. One way to find out if it's uh, the same tension is go with your hand. And if you feel wavy, like fix it. Like here, my hand, I feel how it goes more deep. So here I need to tense it more. But as you can see, there is just one nail hole in it. So with this table, so I'm gonna do the same, like put one here and one here. And the staples are gonna help me to do it. But here you can see how the cut is already pretty good. You don't need to put a lot, just where you think it's needed. Alex then. Thank you so much guys. Let me know if any of these kits are useful to you. That's one of the questions that I get asked a lot. And let me know in the comment section, like the video, share it if you want to, and subscribe. Thank you. Happy tufting.